Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. <laughs> so I was over here uh, looking at my ginger and all of this good stuff over here. And about a, uh, maybe a couple months ago, I went down to Mr. George and I purchased some uh, turmeric. I planted the turmeric and just didn't think nothing of it. Uh, and really didn't look for it <laughs> until yesterday. Uh, I wasn't looking for it yesterday, but somehow she just got my attention. That's what she looks like today, y'all. <laughs> Turmeric. Um, this is my first year growing uh, turmeric, and I'm truly excited about it. Yeah, so you can go back in my videos and you will see where I dropped this turmeric, and it was, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. Somehow the garden always surprises you, huh? always give you some kinds of surprises which is really cool well listen guys i hope you are having a beautiful beautiful morning it's gonna be another hot one y'all it's gonna be another hot one yeah so i have been placing my trees uh getting my trees and um putting them in the shady part of the garden so I got to get my boys to get my two guava trees and the two fig trees. And they're going to put them back here in uh, the shady part of the garden for me. Yay. So I brought this one. Uh, that's a lemon tree. I'm thinking that's a blueberry. That's a blueberry. I brought them back here. And there's a lemon and a blueberry over there. So I'm going to be placing them all in this area. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do, y'all. So this is my last uh, spaghetti squash I have on the vine. And uh, I'm looking forward to her doing her thing. I'm waiting for that stem, y'all. Yeah. These fish peppers are just so beautiful. Uh, every time I pass them, they just, yeah, they get my attention. They don't have to yell too loud. I hear them, y'all. I hear them. The fish pepper. Mm -hmm. And here's more on this plant. Got a lot of peppers, and look at this one here. It's a real dark one. I like it. I like it. And this one is being swallowed by Morning Glory. I think I'm gonna take some of her off. She's just too much, but yeah, it's still producing peppers. But what is that? Okay. But um, yeah, she's still producing peppers, but. It's good looking. Good looking. This is my purple hall peas. And yeah, purple hall peas, ginger, <laughs> pepper plants. There's another pepper plant. Well, two pepper plants over there. Celery, leeks, and onions. And these are leeks. So we have a small bed full of goodies, and they all are doing well this morning. Mm -hmm. So here is some of my mustard greens. I have some bok choy in there. Now this, the uh, chuck rim have not bolted that much. We have some bolting going on, but uh, this is not a lot of bolting, but this is not for me to eat. I'm going to use this in the super juice. So, 
This is the garden, the feeding the garden. So I have some bok choy and all that other good stuff over here. And as you, I'm sorry about my shadow. <laughs> and as you can see, you know, they're going to seed. I, and I did harvest seeds earlier, but yeah, this is bok choy. I let it do what it do. This up there. <laughs> and my Malabar spinach should look real good. I mean, this look really good. Uh, with some zenas, okay. But look at that over there. Just nice and healthy. And this one here. Oh, yeah. She just gone. Gone. <laughs> yeah. I need some more trellis for her because she is just. Yeah. That girl is moving. But that's the Malabar spinach. And here are some of my blushing bell peppers. Yes, they blushing, y'all. And I'm going to allow them to turn nice and red before I harvest them, clean them, chop them up, and put them in freezer bags and use them in my meals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those sweet potatoes. Got sweet potatoes. <laughs> I can remember uh, hearing Mr. Okra saying in the neighborhood as he come through, I got watermelons red to the right. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mr. Okra, no, he's so... His produce, he really did. He had that bullhorn, and if you were asleep or if you were doing something, oh, you heard him singing. <laughs> you heard him singing. God bless Mr. Oprah. Rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace, yeah. But the sweet potatoes are looking good this morning. Very good, very good. So these are the white potatoes. Yeah, these are the white potatoes. They were all leaning against the fence, but I took them from over there. So let's see what happens. And we got this baby right here looking all cute this morning. She looking all cute this morning. <laughs> Smiling in the morning. I love it. But listen, guys, I want to share with you all how to harvest your seeds from your sorrow plant. Now, this is a Jamaican sorrow here. That's what this is. But let's go on the table. I have two, but I'm going to just take this one. Uh, let's go to the table, and I will share with you how to harvest these seeds, okay? So, even if you let it stay on there a little bit longer, where it's really brown, 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 and this is where your seeds are. There they are. Hey, seeds. <laughs> there are your seeds. And they are. They try to hide. Look at there. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of them in there, too. See that? Uh oh, dropping them. And more. And more. And there's another one. Oh, yep, there you go. And more. <laughs> so, all these little nooks and crannies in here they got wait a minute wait a minute all right then. okay oh there we go all right so there are your seeds look at that 
that is from your Jamaican sorrow. Let's see, let me hold them up so you can see what they look like. Let me see how to get them out of there. That's them, y'all. And then, you know, put them in your bag or envelope and get ready to sow your seeds next season. Or you can share. You can share. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is how you harvest your Jamaican sorrow seeds. Yeah. Thank you, baby. <laughs> All right. All right, everyone. You all hear that? <laughs> yeah, it's about to rain out here, y'all. Wait a minute here. Let's see what's going on. Okay, that's a little. This is um, this is my one of my little pots that I purchased. I never put anything in it. I put some holes in it. Yeah, and I have some peat moss in it. I have some perlite and vermiculite. I have some of this stuff in it, and I have some uh, some cow manure in it. Yeah, it was it was already mixed in a bucket, and I said, "Well, let it ride, baby, let it ride." Yeah. So today I'm going to plant this little baby in it. Yeah, I'm gonna plant this little turmeric right here in this. Um, in this pot right here so I'm gonna try to hurry up y'all before the rain comes so let me get her out and get her in all right I gotta turn back let's see can I turn her around that's good all right <laughs> the glove went off I tell you <laughs> all right Oh, she looks nice in here. She looked nice in there. So, I'm going to give her just a little, even though, yeah, it's going to rain. But I'm going to give this baby just a little, just a little. <laughs> 5'11". Give me a second. All right, guys. So, that water you see there, no, that ain't. That ain't no regular water, y'all. No. That's super juice there. Yeah, that's super juice. And, uh, so, got some super juice and some 511 in here with her. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. I know she's gonna love it, y'all. She gonna love it. She gonna love it. All right, let's get it. <laughs> All right. So check this little tree out, y'all. She's putting on a new leaf. Yeah. She's huge. She's she's just gotten so big. So I'm going to give her the last little bit of it. There you go, mama. Woo. Mosquito. All right. Let's see. we we'll get a front shot. And there she is, y'all. That's cute. That's some cute stuff. All right, guys. To share with you all, uh, this tree right here. So, this is a pecan tree that is right in my neighborhood. And the owner of this property have, um, have told me, and, and all the neighbors really, uh, that they can uh, harvest as many as pecans as they like to yeah and this tree is loaded it is a huge tree that's the tree 
it's it's been here well when i moved in the neighborhood over 20 years ago of course this tree was here and every year it just uh, really puts on a bundus amount of pecans, 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 and pecans. It's great. It's a wonderful tree. And the owners is very, very kind. The squirrels, yeah, they have a ball. Guys, I just wanted to share. So a while ago, I have shared with you all the story of Mr. Okra. Yeah. So Mr. Okra sold produce uh, way back in the day, you know, even before me. Uh, he went around in his truck singing over a bullhorn of the produce that he had. Yeah. Like he sung about his tomatoes. He said, I got tomatoes strawberries, cherries, peaches, you know, whatever he had. Oh yeah, that was in the lyrics. <laughs> that was the lyrics. And um Mr. Okra as we had this uh we had this morning show here in New Orleans uh, given by a man hosted hosted by a man named Frank Davis and it was called Naturally Nolens. And um, Frank uh, featured Mr. Okra uh, on one of his shows as uh, Naturally New Orleans. And uh, it was all about him going to every neighborhood in New Orleans. Didn't matter what neighborhood it was, you know. And everybody loved him. Everybody respected him. And everyone was happy to see when he come. But listen, I want to thank you all for stopping by uh, my channel today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And listen, I want to thank everybody who was in Tuesday's Live. Uh, you know, guys, I don't know about you, but I had a wonderful time. Absolutely. It was just having a great time, and yeah, it was fun. We laughed, you know, we sung, we talked serious. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was beautiful. I want to thank you all, okay? And next Tuesday, let's do it again. Do it again. <laughs> all right guys you all have a wonderful day i'm gonna get up out of here before this rain come but i was looking at these four o'clock seats and they were just looking at me like are you gonna get me or what <laughs> so i got them i got them <laughs> all right guys later y'all